This is Piers Morgan Live. Two people who risked everything to stop what they feared could be a deadly mass shooting. Trisha and Bill Lammers turned in their only son, Blake. He'd been committed seven times to mental institutions, but because those commitments were not court-ordered, he was able to legally buy an assault rifle. And police say that Blake confessed to a plan to shoot up a Walmart and a movie theatre. He's been charged with three felonies, and if convicted, he could face the possibility of life behind bars. Blake's parents, Bill and Trisha Lammers, join me now. Uh, welcome to you both. Trisha, let me start with you, if I may. This story, and the reason I wanted to have you both on, just about, to me, gets to the very heart of the real problem with the gun violence toll in America, and that is the, uh, the appalling way the mental health system in America deals with people exactly like your son. Tell me when you realised that Blake had serious mental issues. Uh, the, I wouldn't say that Blake really has serious mental issues. Blake has um, been hospitalized seven times. It started in 2008 when he was diagnosed with depression. In each hospital visit, they diagnosed him with something different. Um, they would change his medicine. They would keep him on the same medicine. Um, we never really had a correct and, and steady diagnosis. It was something different each and every time. And sometimes the medicine would, would affect him in different ways, make him manic, make him more depressed, uh, make him suicidal, make him homicidal. So each you know, hospital visit you know, was a different diagnosis which just, you know, led to you know, the events that happened, you know, last fall. And just to put this, this incident into proper perspective, Bill, um, we go back to 2009, so soon after he is first receiving treatment, and as your wife just said, very, very different treatments each time he went in. In 2009, he goes into a Walmart uh, near where you live, correct. I believe. He was uh, carrying correct. a butcher knife and a Halloween mask. Uh, he told both of you that he picked out an employee and he hoped police would shoot him before he harmed the employee. He wasn't arrested. He was taken to an inpatient treatment hospital. And the reason that's so significant is that cut forward to last November and he went to the same Walmart where he had done this and he was able to legally buy an assault rifle. And by that time, he had been committed seven times to mental institutions and really Correct. should never in a million years have been allowed anywhere near an assault rifle. As his father, what do you think about the system that allowed this to happen? I, I think it's totally broken. There's no way that I think America should allow this to continue to happen. Seven times in a hospital, go into the same Walmart that he had was carried out in handcuffs earlier with a butcher knife and he can legally go in there, put the money on the counter, pass a background test, buy a weapon and ammunition and, and be handed that rifle. It, good luck, son. Have a good day. Something is wrong with that system. Matter of fact, I would say the system is totally broken. And you only discovered what had happened when I think, Tricia, you were going through his laundry, Blake's laundry, and you found a Walmart receipt in his pocket that simply said shotgun, $865. Yes. As it turned out, it, it was an assault rifle similar to an AR-15. Yes. 